to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Today's video is pretty special. This is, we're in the new Catspit Productions manual screen printing shop, and I thought I would give you sort of a little shop tour, which is kind of, you know, a conundrum to say because the shop is very small. So uh, what I'm going to do is just share with you each of the components that I have in my manual screen printing shop, which I consider to be, you know, uh, either essential, crucial, or, um, you know, something that makes the job easier, like a little air compressor and stuff like that. So let's take a look at the different parts of a small manual screen printing shop, starting with the exposure unit and the area in which I keep my screens that are being processed or made or ready to get, getting ready to be exposed and stuff like that. Okay, so let's start there. Okay, so here we are at the screen making area. And um, as you can see, I have a Ranar screen rack. This is the adjustable type, which allows me to put either 20 by 24 or uh, 23 by 31 automatic screens in this unit and have a good snug fit. And right now I just use it kind of keep, to keep some of my screens that I use for myself quite often. And then, of course, we have the Ranar XPO 2331. This is the uh, industrial black light uh, exposure unit. Okay, and uh, you've seen the smaller version, the 20 by 24. I'm not sure if that's the actual number on it, but it does 20 by 24s. It's a little bit smaller. Actually, it's 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 quite compact compared to this one, I think. But uh, I really like this one a lot. I like having the extra space and uh, it just feels good, it works good, and I'm pretty happy with this. So we actually, uh, or I should say, I actually coat my screens right here. I have some uh, dark lamps, uh, red lamps, you know, red lights and such in the, in the shop area where I can turn out all the other lights and turn on my uh, red ones. And I coat my screens in a small space right here in front of me that I have. And then, they, of course, they get stored in the old um, drying rack that you saw on a previous video where, where I made the rack, you know, this closed-in rack out of a different screen rack that I had, okay? So we boxed it in. So I still use that, and I coat my screens, and uh, I put them in there to dry, and then I store them in there. And most of the time, the thing's loaded up with screens ready to go. And then I can just come in with some film and go right to the exposure unit. Okay, and this is the washout area. It's kind of like my washout ink area. So I like to refer, refer to it as the wet area where we have, of course, the backlit washout booth to make our screens. Okay. And we also have all the ink. I actually have some more ink I need to get in here, but um, I'm keeping most of my ink over here. And we have black and white ink is up over here, which is next to the press, which is off in that direction. And we'll show you that configuration. I'll pick the camera up and I'm going to show you the press and how it's kind of related to the ink area. And what I mean by, you know, keeping, like, because it's always a good idea to keep ink in a particular place in your shop. Like, you don't want ink to be going all over in the shop, especially plastisol ink, because it never dries. It's like a monster. Once it gets loose, it's, you know, it's like Godzilla. It can destroy you, okay? So, you want to be careful of that. And it's a good idea to always keep ink, like, behind an imaginary line. And that's where it is. So, in my shop, the ink is on this side of the press, and it stays over here. Each of the screens can turn and come over near the table and get loaded with ink, and we'll show you that. Okay, so here's a little bit of a pan shot to show you. Here's the exposure unit in that screen making area. And then we come around. And, you know, here's the main area where you'll see a lot of the screen printing videos made. The dryer is right in front here, as you can see, stationed right next to the print station. Okay, and you can see we have the flash cure unit over there. Uh, off to the right, and that's so that when you when I swing the pallets in a counterclockwise motion, 
they go under there, they get flash cured, and then each time I print another shirt, they go around and stop three times at those three stations on the back side, and that allows them to cool off. Okay, so here's, like I said before, here's the wet area. That's where the washout booth is and where I keep most of my inks, or I should say any of the inks that are in usage and being used or being put on screens would stay here. They'll never pass this point, you know, because it can be dangerous. That, in fact, is the print station that I turn each head to in order to load with ink or to tape off any parts of the screen that I wanted taped off. So I have my tape, my scrap paper, my ink, my spatulas, and all ink handling devices over here. Ink cleaning, screen all your, uh, clean all your screens, rather, and such. All that would happen over here in my little shop. Okay, so that's basically it. It's a pretty cool little shop. You know, and of course, at the end of the uh, dryer, you have the... Um, you know, the catch basket and a little table to flat fold shirts on. And it's kind of in the corner, you know, it's kind of tucked in the corner. It's a little bit hard, uh, you know, you don't need to see that. <laughs> okay. All right, so I hope I'm not moving the camera too fast for y'all, but you can kind of get a little idea of the layout here. Okay, and pan around so you can see. Try not to get any lights in there so it ruins the view, so to speak. And um, that's it. All right, thanks a lot for checking out my videos. I really appreciate it. When you guys watch my videos and visit the website, please remember that you can get discounted, uh, you can get discounts rather on uh, screen printing supplies and a little bit more, even some equipment and stuff on the Catspit Productions print supplies uh, webpage. You have to go there and check the vendors that are listed there and you can see what offers and discounts and promos are being offered. And it's a pretty cool little service that I uh, collect and try to negotiate for y'all so that you can enjoy a little bit of savings and see some of the products that I might recommend or endorse. Okay, so thanks a lot for uh, watching the video, I appreciate it, and if you like what you see, please subscribe. Okay, okay, here's the back of the dryer. There's the catch basket. Come off of the belt, drop in the basket, picked up, and flat folded on the table over there. And you can see we have a temperature gun and a spiff gun back here. Pretty cool, huh? Thanks for watching.